Hey, how you doing? It's Welsh here, aka the boldest DJ in Los Santos, Carl Medina. And it's been almost a year since my last video where I showed you how to create a XMR station, where to go to host your station, how to get into GTA World, and how to hear it in World. So this video, like almost a year later, we are going to answer a couple of questions that people ask me a lot on Discord or via PMs and gigs is, how do you DJ how do you connect DJ software and DJ in GTA World? Or anywhere really on the internet, but it's all the same. And I'm going to show you very quickly on what software you need, how to set it up, and how to get connected to GTA World so you too can become a DJ like Carl Medina or Dano or all the other DJs in GTA World. I'm not a gatekeeper, and the more DJs we see, for me personally, well, it gives me a little bit of a break and it gives every other player a bit of variety because every player has a different taste in music. So this is your opportunity to learn a little bit on how to connect. The rest of it, though, is going to be down to you. But anyway, let's get into it. Hotel, motel, bring them to hotel. I keep secrets, I deep dish it, kiss it, lick it, flip it, stick it. We can go well, we can Okay, so we're going to assume you've watched the first video, you've managed to set up a station somewhere, and you've got XMR set up on GTA World, and you are ready to go, you have a station, and it's good to go. So next thing you're going to need is software. So Virtual DJ is the professional DJ software that I use, many DJs in GTA World and around the world use. And the best thing about this, you don't need a pirate copy, you don't need to crack it, it's all free. There's nothing to pay. So go to the Virtual DJ website, or I'll leave all the links for everything I'm going to mention on this video in the description. Click download and then click Windows or Mac OS. Once you've done that, while you're on the browser, go to But, don't ask me, but it's called Broadcast using this tool. Download that as well and get those both set up. Uh, press pause on you if you have to and then come back once you have those set up. Okay, so now you've got Virtual DJ set up, you should have something which looks very similar to that, the starter decks. Go to the cog in the, the top right of Virtual DJ, and then go to audio, and this is where we're going to set up the audio. So you should be looking at something similar to this. Ignore the mic, because I'm using that right now. So what we're going to do is going to set up an output, and then this is going to be... You need, hopefully, if you've got a sound card, you'll have something like this, real tech, high tech, deficient audio or digital output or something along the lines of that. If you haven't, we can discuss that later, but for the moment, select that and then press apply. And then you're gonna select another one and this is gonna be the headphones and this can be either um, another set, an output, or it'll probably be your default Mine's the microphone, my Blue Yeti. It'll be your default settings, and then press apply, and then close. So once we've set up the audio in Virtual DJ, we need to set up a button now so we can connect to our station and stream on the internet and on GTA World. So we have butt open here, go to settings, and then we're gonna add a station. Now to get the settings you need here, you need to go to wherever you host your station. So in this case, I'm using Xeno as an example. Go to broadcast settings, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna copy all this information from here or wherever your station is hosted into the settings for but, and then you're gonna click add. Once you do that, if you press on the play icon, it should connect and it should give you a stream time. So you know that your stream is working okay then before we leave that we're gonna go back to settings we're gonna go to audio and we're gonna select whichever we selected on virtual dj so in this case for me it was digital output and then we are going to uh, close that down and that's good good to go now we've got the broadcast tool set up we can test that is receiving the audio that we send from virtual dj so the easiest way to do that is just to put a track in Virtual DJ, press play, so we can see the sound meter is moving. Go back to the broadcast tool, and we can see that it is moving there. So we know that when we press play, everything we're playing now is live on the internet. And that is the basics of how to connect Virtual DJ 
to GTA World via a station without needing a pro license on Virtual DJ. That is it. At the start of the video, I mentioned that not only you could use Virtual DJ, but you could also use Spotify and you can play music directly from Spotify into GTA World via a station too. And the really easy way of doing this is we are just going to turn this down, otherwise you get deafened. Is just press play on a track, okay, and then go to the volume icon, right click, and go to sound settings, and then you go down to app volume and device preferences, go down to uh, Spotify, change this to the same output we changed the same output we changed before. It'll go silent here. Go back to the broadcast tool though, and you'll see that it is playing here. If I press pause, it will go off. And if I press play, it will come back. And that is the really easy way of how to connect either Virtual DJ or Spotify to your station, and you can play your music in game. Any questions, just drop me a message on Discord or drop me a PM on the forum or even in game if I am around. Hope that helps and uh, have fun. Bye.